Hi folks, thanks for stopping by. We're going to do a quick Metam Destroyer tutorial or an orientation. Chances are you're a new player and all I want to do is get you oriented to this awesome big ship. It's probably the next level. You probably played on the Metam Frigate with your friends. Wanted to keep it a small crew, but let's go to the Metam Destroyer. We could select it on the left side by clicking the Metam Destroyer loadout. Chances are all you have is the rookie, so we'll click on rookie in the top left. Now let's take a look at our systems that we have on the ship. So they correspond, here's a big weapons spot right here, and you can hover over them to see which weapons you get. And they correspond down here on where they're placed on the ship. So there's our three weapons, the Benediction Cannons. Then we have a Arc Shield Mark I that's on the front, and I'll show you that when we get on the ship. And then you have your support, which is your Gravity Scoop Mark I that's on the back. It's a bit of a pain in the butt if you're a new pilot, but I will show you how to navigate with that Gravity Scoop so go ahead and let's select it and I'm going to go ahead and load into a blank mission and give you a tour of the ship. Okay, so here we are on the destroyer. We just spawned in. So let's grab our computer, little baby computer, and we're going to head towards the center of the ship to go ahead and install it. You can see by the icon right there, this is where we're putting that right here in the center. Open the door with F. Go ahead, toss the computer in there, and then we will turn this switch to power it on. And we're fully charged. Now we have our com computer set. Take a look at the core of this area. There's a lot of electrical systems in here. Power cell recharge socket. This is auxiliary power. Right now it's on the thruster buff, but you can change that to be the weapon damage level buff, or you can change it to charge your shields. With a simple tap of F, you can change the buff that you get from this ship. I will actually put it on weapons Let's start there. On the other side here, you have your fuse boxes. If these get blown, you flip these switches here. You can see at the top left of the screen, there's four little lightning icons. Those correspond with these fuse boxes here. And we can have up to eight systems running. Right now, the zero of eight are going, but that's how many we can charge with the default power settings of the ship. Then pay attention. This is the back of the ship. This is the front of the ship. Here is the basic life support system. This is the thing that you turn on if, look at the bottom left of the screen, if the O2 is running out of your ship, your oxygen, or if it's getting too hot or too cold, you're going to want to turn this on in order to stabilize that. But if you have a breach and it's either leaking, you're going to need to fix that breach first before the life support system can take effect. If you need to speed it up, use this enhancement panel here, and that'll hopefully get you out of a bind pretty quick. Let's go to the back of the ship. If you're the grease monkey or the engineers, I like to call it, you're going to be mostly in the back of the ship back here. Pay attention right here. This is your thruster boosters. Always, always turn these on. Doesn't matter who you are or what you're doing. If you see these are not on and not charged up, go ahead and hold the F button down and charge these thrusters. Your pilot will love you for keeping them charged on both sides of the engineering bay. You have your void charge. Now there's two. This being is you can do this with one of your co-op players. What you want to do is quick countdown. Hold this button here. You can say three, two, one, turn it, and then you'll charge the void charge. It starts at 75% if you do it almost at the same time. So it's a big buff to the charging duration. If you don't, you'll have to start from zero. Take a look at this. This is your trim advisory panel. You can see it here. It's also on the other side of the ship. If you see yellow lights blinking here, that means you need to fix some trim. So one of these will be blinking, it'll be a valve, it'll be a switch, it'll be something in here, it'll be emitting steam, it'll be emitting fire, or it'll be blinking on that light indicator there. Just go ahead and hold the F key down, turn it, and you'll fix the trim. So if you're passing by too, or if you're the, oh, here's one right here. Let's fix this one. So there's that yellow light there. Let's see if, it, there it is right here. This is the indicator. We'll just hold the F button and we're fixed. Engine trim secured. So this is your engineering area right here. We'll head to the back of the ship. And here is the gravity scooper. This was not in the tutorial for the game. This is how you take things into the ship that are outside the ship without having to constantly spacewalk out there in a dangerous environment. So since this is in the back of the ship and we saw that earlier on the map of the ship, just aim the back of the ship at the items, make sure this is on, or make sure one of your teammates has turned this on, and this will start pulling in items in space 
that are aimed at the back of the ship. Now, if you're if you got to get things in a hurry or something's very far away, you could start the you can actually activate this enhancement panel, which will increase the range and increase the speed at which you pull something into the ship. I've got a video clip here that you could check out me in action spinning the ship around, making sure that I get these items in space. If you need to see them a little better, toggle the tab key. It'll give you a user face. It, it'll give you an icon on your user interface so you can see the items much easier. Let's head up to the helm. Here I am on the bridge. It's a bit of a lonely bridge because the helmsman's up here. I know that this is the uh, the room that you saw in the trailer, but rarely are the four people looking at the astral map. So let's take a look at that. This is where you select what you're going to do. We could do the optional container hunt, which is always a great way to start and get more buffs for the ship. Or you can actually just go to your objective. If you're the pilot, this is where you're going to be sitting most of the time. Go ahead and press F on the chair. And now we can see the ship. You've got a first person view of the ship. It's beautiful. Most of the guns are on the front there. As you can see, they're very useful to see. And then if you want to turn it on, you press F right here on the on switch there. And if you need to do a void jump, the lever is right here. I'll show you a clip of that later. Also, very, very handy button here. You press number one, and now you have a third person view of the ship. This is great to do maneuvers if you have to drop any of your teammates off or just general combat. This is great to see incoming fire or making sure that you're dropping off your colleague at a really good spot so that they don't have to do a huge spacewalk and waste precious oxygen trying to land on either a derelict space station or whatever they're doing. So use this view to get in nice and close. And that's pretty much it for being the pilot. If I turn this on, you see the three little flames here. These are your thrust charges. So if they turn them on downstairs, you can actually go ahead and use them. I'm going forward. I'll hit my shift button to sprint. Look, at, there it is. Now it's being depleted. That's exactly what it does right there. And we are now cruising. Look at the jets, they got the, they're emitting that blue, and now they're back to red, which means I'm cruising at my normal speed. Let's get out of the chair by holding F, and we'll head down to the front of the ship using one of our airlifts. So I hope I didn't kind of confuse you, but now here we're going, going to go towards the front of the ship, because we're on the port side right now. It's symmetrical, these are all your expansion slots. You'll be experimenting with those later when you make new items, when you inscribe them. And all the way at the front of the ship is going to be your main gunner. You've got your Benediction Cannon right here, which they'll use. Press F to sit in it. And you can see really nice over the front of the ship. Hold F to get out. You'll also be in charge of the shields. Now, you could turn this on, but it's actually nicer to turn these on when you have a power cell because your shields will be stronger and they take longer to drain. So when you pick up a battery, make sure you get ahead and put it here. And you're all set, folks. I think that's it. I oriented you to the ship. That's the front. Oh, actually, I almost forgot. Here's your fabricator right here. This is where you'll be recycling all your alloy. You'll just throw it in there, recycle it, and then use the fabricator to make things. It's kind of really inconvenient on this ship. Let me just take care of this trim because it's bothering me. Uh, there's a long walk from the gravity scooper to the fabrication thing. I'm going to speed this up. We'll go to the back of the ship. And that's the run you're going to have to do to take any items you get from the scooper and get them fabricated down where we just were. All right, folks. Well, that does it for this tutorial. I hope you're oriented to the Metem Destroyer. I hope it was quick. I hope you learned something. I hope you're not intimidated to play with another crew. Everybody that's playing, especially from the Discord, is very nice. They'll help you through if you have any questions. I'll see you out there. Captain out.